what? What a vacation week it's been, huh, honey? Yeah. So we we flew out um, a week ago, actually, because it's Thursday. We flew out a week ago to uh, to go to Atlanta, and we was Jay's son Justin and his fiance Tamara. Their wedding was that weekend, and so the wedding was actually Friday night. Rehearsal dinner was Thursday, and. Uh, we flew in Thursday, so thankfully we didn't have any major delays. We were really worried about that because, you know, or luggage lost, you know, you get all your dress clothes. I don't know if you even thought about that. I did. Try not to. Mm. Anyways, the wedding was really nice. The rehearsal dinner was excellent. It was, um, it was just, it was just extra special. And Jay did the toast and he did an awesome job doing the toast. And, um, yeah, you spoke from your heart. You did do a faux pas. You wanted to tell them about the faux pas you did? Whoa, where are we going, honey? Let's go this way. Going yeah, this what way. I said was, nice to see old faces. <laughs> what I meant to say, nice to see old familiar faces. So, I thought that was kind of a nice little faux pas. Everybody got a kick out of it. Yeah, we all cracked up laughing, old faces, because, of course, there were a lot of old faces <laughs> in the room and of course I knew he really didn't mean to insult all us old faces but um, it was funny and that was a great way to, to kick it off and then he just um, he tied in you know something you know from New England and he tied in some sports stuff because both Justin and Tamara are avid sports fans as is my husband yeah. obviously yeah, tied in Kansas yeah that's where she's from, the bride. Yeah, what did you say about Kansas? Tell uh, just the company that I used to work for was a farm equipment manufacturer, Heston, Kansas. Yep. Uh, Heston Corporation. And then you ended up talking about... Um, I talked about an Irish blessing my dad had mentioned to me many years ago, so I brought my dad into it who passed away very young. And then I gave the... Uh, New England blessing or the McGillicuddy blessing I should say so that's where I talked about the different sports and uh, that went off very well so yeah it was good. it was extra special and I'm going to just enclose a couple of pictures here um, Jay's stepmother Barbara came up from Florida and so we get a picture of Jay and Barbara and Justin and then my niece the next day arrived and my niece Caitlin and her husband Travis arrived so we'll show a couple of clips from the wedding not too much but uh, we were really we had a nice time we sat with Barbara and Caitlin and Travis and it was just a really nice wedding and the next day we just did nothing <laughs> we we kind of beat around um I don't we had know, breakfast we had breakfast what did we do I don't think we did much of anything and um, because it's Atlanta, right? You know, it's a big city. So um, then Sunday morning, Jay and I took off and we drove to Savannah. And driving down to Savannah, the ride was pretty uneventful. I thought we arrived, we got into our hotel. I'm gonna put this clip in here of our hotel so you can see what it was like. I, you know, I, I wanted to have a view of the, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get back to Savannah. It was beautiful, but I don't know if I'm ever gonna get back to it. And I wanted to stay where it was one night. I wanted my room to have a balcony and I wanted to have the river view, and so we did that. We got our room with the balcony. You can see us miss me walking through, kind of showing the room and the balcony and the river views and all that stuff. It was really nice. And then, um, Harbor Town that way. And then, um, that night we went out with Caitlin and Travis. We went to the Bohemian. We had drinks on the rooftop bar in the Bohemian, which was really kind of cool. And then we ended up having, um, I don't know if you're going the right way, babe. Um, and then we ended up having dinner at the Rocks down in the Bohemian. So it was really nice. We sat there for hours just jibber-jabbering, getting caught up, and enjoying a couple of drinks and dinner. And then they walked us old folks back to our hotel because we were at the Marriott, but on the other end of the river walk. And um, the, Caitlin and Travis were at the JW Marriott on the other end. So they walked us down to our hotel. And it was, it was, I thought it was a perfect cap of the, of the weekend. And then we came to Hilton Head. So we've been in Hilton Head. We're filming this today. I will share a couple of clips from our early couple of days. 
we did um, we didn't what did we do when we arrived we kind of went down to how do you call that park Calig Caligny Caligny Park which is about a mile down the beach from us so we walked that night down to Caligny Park and walked all around the stores and which I thought we were just walking the beach yeah I, I well when I saw that it was there I said let's go up and explore that so we did that and that was pretty cool and then I think um, we walked back so that first night we had a good almost like a three mile <clears throat> walking around the stores and all that back to the hotel back to our airbnb which is a condo one bedroom condo it's very small it could use some updating without a doubt it's dated um but you know i mean i've been sleeping really good surprisingly it feels like it's a very soft mattress but it's probably more of a memory foam yeah this is the way you're gonna go we're trying to find a way to harbor town and Jay golfed one morning. I walked on the beach. I love walking the flat beach. I thought it was really, really awesome. Nice long flat stretch of sand. And we're not here for, you know, much longer because we only did a Monday to Saturday. Saturday we fly out and go home. And today's Thursday. So I'm gonna share some clips from Harbor Town um, as we go through. I'll add them in and um, yeah, so this is sort of like a vlog, and we'll see what rest of it that I share in this video. I love the Spanish moss on these trees. I just think it's so cool. So cool. Nail files. That's cute. So we made our way. What is this place called? Harbor Town. No, I know, but this golf course. Harbor Town. Har oh, Harbor Town Golf Links or whatever. And Jay watches these guys on um, YouTube that he follows, and they've played here, right? Those two. Yep. So, um, yeah. So we're just sitting here on the veranda. <laughs> really pretty veranda and then we'll probably go inside to the um, pro shop for him. Hi there. Hello. So we've been doing the tourist bit. I can't, I can't tell you how impressed I am with how clean everything is. And I know it's a pricey, pricey area and all that, but it's just been really pretty. <laughs> I had to leave Jay outside. <laughs> He'll kill me if I post this. <laughs> yeah, he will, but I will. And here we are. Whoops. Trying to open up the very special brew. That was... Ooh! Ta-da! Ta-da! And... Justin and Tamara, March 26, 2020. And Justin brewed that. Oh! Well, yeah, it was supposed to be 2020, but 2021. You think it's pretty good, your homebrew? Yeah, different. Different. Yeah. Not used to that flavor, but tastes good. You know, ever since basically COVID hit, I have been so struggling with my diet. One excuse after another, you know. So um, a couple of days like maybe a week before we left to come down to Georgia we started taking apple cider vinegar tablets and gummies um, anyways there's a number of different gummies on the market for sure but the combination this is I think Orofic this is something that actually was recommended by Sheila 
who knew somebody that was using this and um, and her friend said this stuff was really great so I, I ended up ordering it from Amazon um, got it like the you know just a, like maybe the week before it came really quick and we've been taking it I swear this has helped me with my appetite, but more importantly, it's helped me with my energy level. And I, I just feel really good with it. I, you know, I've been walking the beach a lot. Um, we are on a second floor condo and there is an elevator, but it's way on the other side of the complex. So we lugged all our luggage up and up and down these stairs. Granted, it's only two floors, but it's a lot more stair climbing than I'm used to. So um, these, and they taste good. There's a bunch of different ingredients in this particular brand, as opposed to some of the others. I think it's this combination that's been really awesome. So I've been, I've been very much it, to the point where if I can get a good Wi-Fi connection tonight, I am going to order some of these because they were so good. The other thing that has really helped, and I do have 50% off of this, so I'll make sure you guys, um, you, you can do that. If you order the Get Maku, M-A-K-U, go to their website if you want, Monica 50, Monica, M-O-N-I-K-A 50. Anyways, if you are into CBD and you like a good clean CBD and uh, just a good quality CBD. This is 5,000 milligrams. They have they have the lower ones if you want. This is what I prefer. I use this on my face. I've been using it um, to sleep better. And um, Jay loves the stuff. He loves CBD. He uses it for his joint pain. We also have a Realm CBD. I don't have the, the tube here, but the Realm CBD is a roll-on and it's a tropical more and it works really wonderf wonderfully if you have any kind of an ache and pain you know for a, a short-term fix i mean the cbd is a short-term fix anyways it's not anything that's going to cure anything of anyone uh, anything but um yeah it's like just just really good stuff and i'm so glad that I grabbed the CBD, I brought that. That has been a lifesaver. And I'm telling you, these gummies, gummies have been fantastic. I love it. I am um, so impressed with this and I'm so glad that they gave me the 50% off coupon for you guys. I'm not an affiliate member. In other words, I'm not gonna make anything off of them, anything you buy. I wanna just pass the savings if I could off to you. I just believe in this product, so. Yeah, tonight we're going out. We're gonna walk the beach, see the beach behind me. I think it's an optical illusion that it looks further away. Of course, the tide is out right now. The beach is actually pretty close. So we're gonna go down the beach and we're gonna walk over to a park where there is a Caligari Park or whatever, where there's a bunch of restaurants and whatnot. And there's also a holiday in there. We can go into there, into that restaurant. So we're just gonna have a casual dinner tonight and enjoy the evening. The sun is out. It's just beautiful here. It's chilly though. I had to go buy a sweatshirt. I went into Belk's, Belk. I'd never been into a Belk before. And I went into Belk and I bought a sweatshirt. I bought these earrings. I just fell in love with them. I thought they were the stinking cutest little things. Yeah, so that's what I bought. You know, I feel like an advertisement. <laughs> well, maybe I am, but all these years, you know, sunblock, and I always kind of dread all the different sunblocks I have to use because they just don't come off um, easy. But since I've been using peaches, I actually packed it to bring it with me here on this trip. And this is, normally I don't pack a whole lot of cleanser. I have a little travel size of CeraVe that I usually bring, but I love this stuff so much. I had to bring it with me and I kid you not, it, it, it's like the only thing that takes my sunblock off my face at the end of the day. It is so, so good. So, so good. Peaches Skin Care. Thank you, thank you, Lisa. Happy Friday, everyone, happy Friday. Today is our last full day here on Hilton Head Island. And it's been really kind of like um, very relaxing, but 
way colder than I thought it would be. We actually, I actually had to go out and buy a heavy sweatshirt because I, it was warmer back in New Hampshire than it's been in Hilton Head. This morning I walked the beach. I went for a nice long walk. I don't know if you can tell how, how ferocious the waves are out there. It's pretty wave, pretty wavy. The wind is cold and the temperature, I don't know how cold it is, but I froze my bippy off walking the beach, but it was really nice. And I came back, I took a shower. I just been putzing. Jay is golfing. I'm not too sure what we're going to do today, but um, I think I'm gonna end the vlog before it gets super long and because I know it will and um, maybe I'll do a part two. Sunday is Easter. We're going to arrive pretty, um, we're going to be arriving home Saturday and um, so I may upload this Saturday if I have enough Wi-Fi to do it. I don't think I'll upload it Sunday but in the event that you see this before Easter I wish all of you a very happy Easter those of you that that celebrate of course and um, I just hope you all have a wonderful weekend if you see it after Easter stay tuned for part two because I'm sure we'll do something else today and tomorrow we're gonna go back to make our way back to Savannah and um, Tybee Island and I'm gonna talk to Jay about maybe doing a quick uh, dolphin tour. I'm going to call and see whether we can book a reservation, what the scoop is on that. But, um, but that'll, be, that'll be our adventure. So thank you all so much for watching. I truly appreciate every single one of you. I am so thankful for sunblock skincare because even though it's been cold and I certainly haven't done any beach, you know, combing other than walking. Um, I haven't done any beach Sunday thing, I should say. Uh, the sun is pretty hot. So yeah, I'm pretty thankful for good skincare, sunblock, you name it. And I love where we are. I love that I have this little deck here. Um, it's an Airbnb. I'll, I'll link the website below if anyone's ever planning a trip. It's very, um, it's, it's affordable. And yeah, at least this time of year, I don't know what it would be in, you know, peak season. But um, I love the deck. You know, the deck is what makes it. I would rather be in a smaller unit with less frills and have a view than to be in a, a hotel that has all the frills and no view. That's me. That's my preference. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful weekend, a wonderful holiday, and I'll catch you next time. On our last morning, I got a pretty sunrise. It wasn't very, very dramatic, but it was really a pretty way to start our day. And after breakfast, we decided to head down to Tybee Island, where we just walked around and explored and had some fun. I'm going to include some clips that we took, not only of Harbor Town and Tybee Island, but a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I really appreciate all your support. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And no, we didn't go shark fishing, but we had a great time. Bye-bye.